guys! Welcome back to Just Jelly and welcome to my banyo again. Uh, I read in some of your comments na you wanted to uh, watch me uh, share my skincare routine. I am grateful for the interest and um, alam niyo lang po talagang um, through the years I have researched and I have experimented on products and uh, a skincare routine that would fit my skin type and my skin. Importante talaga yung makahiyangan nyo ang mga produktong gagamitin nyo and it's something that you can afford as well. Um, in buying skincare products, kasi pa, I've learned through the years na you don't buy products na for your age. You have to be aware of your skin type. Tapos yung weather sa kung saan kayo, like let's say if you live here in the Philippines, um, the humidity and um, the heat factor in the skincare that I use. And uh, kapag nasa Canada naman ako, the arid weather and the winter or the summer or spring, whatever, always factors in the kind of products I use at that time. So ngayon, since nakatira ako sa Pilipinas, uh, I will share with you my morning skincare routine that I practice here in the Philippines. And maybe medyo mag i inject ako ng konting ginagamit ko rin when I'm in Canada. Kasi minsan, you need heavier stuff or more viscous stuff para mas moisturize yung balat ninyo. But here in the Philippines, just ko. Less creaminess, less um, less moisturizing, better lalo na if you've got combination skin like me. Unang-una sa lahat, I, when I wake up in the morning, I drink a glass of water or something. And then, I hydrate muna. And then, siguro, of course, I do my, I brush my teeth or take a shower, whatever. And then, I do my skincare routine. I do it as soon as I wake up. Kung pwedeng pagkagising na pagkagising, mas maigi. Kasi na, I, I notice na kapag dinedelay ko yung skincare ko, kakaroon ako rashes or minsan, pag tingin ko, may pimple na the next day. Parang, parang feeling ko parang nagkakaroon ng imbalance pagdating sa mga oils. Kasi I usually nourish my skin at night or treat it with products, dapat in the morning when you wake up, you rinse it. Kasi pag naghahalo sa pawis and sa oil mo na for the day, parang nagkakaroon ng imbalance. Well, that is just me. Usually, the best thing for me to do is just rinse my face with water or use a non-detergent-based cleanser. And this is what I usually use. Uh, this is um, Cetaphil. Hindi po to sponsor. But I've been using this for siguro mga 20 years now. Maybe even more. Kasi it's very gentle and I use it in the morning when I wake up. Okay? So, let's try it right now. Actually, I just wet it and then rinse. I try not to use a detergent-based cleanser in the morning. Because unong-una sa lahat, there is no need naman. Because I usually brush my skin at night and in the morning, you just rinse it off, take out whatever you may you have from the pillow or whatever and just rinse. Don't strip your skin of its natural oils kasi kung hindi, para magkukumahog siyang maging oily mamaya. And dun nagaganap ang mga clogging of the pores. Dahil nagpaproduce siya ng extra excess oil when you strip your, your skin of oils, natural oils. And usually, that happens when you use something that's drying. And I find that for me, if I use a cleansing foam or anything that's foaming or that has detergent sa umaga, I find it's too harsh for my skin. But that's just me. For some people, baka mamaya mas hiyang kayo na gumagamit kayo ng detergent-based cleansers or foaming cleansers. It's also fine. Kung ano po ang gusto na skin ninyo, kung saan kayo hiyang, yan ang mas importante. But for me, this is what I do. So gentle cleanser in the morning, and then I follow it up with a toner, a lightweight toner. Lalo na in the Philippines, lightweight lang ang kailangan. When I'm in other countries, when it's dry, I use heavier toners or I layer them. So, I discovered this. I'm from Rice Toner. It is um, a lightweight toner that is obviously, I think it's fermented kasi nga Rice Toner. Ayan siya. It just drips. It's very light and it's not masyadong Wala, actually, wala. Wala siyang smell. There's no scent. And for those who have sensitive skin, I think this will be really good. And I'm from Rice Toner. Para siyang, I think it's fermented. So, if it's fermented, when I use fermented skincare products, I find that they really work well for me. I guess kasi mas nakaka-penetrate sila kasi mas maliit ang molecules nila. So, parang mas nakaka-penetrate siya sa skin. So, I use this toner. This is my first bottle, by the way. And I'm loving it. No scent. So, 
if you're skin sensitive, pini ko pwede to sa inyo. Now, let me just share with you na kapag nasa dry areas ako or kapag winter or kapag I just want a pick-me-up and when my skin is like really drab, dull, and dry, which happens even in the Philippines sometimes. Lalo na pag may, pag, na, pag mga December, medyo malamig lami, or kapag naaraw na ako ng todong-todo the day before, the next day, I try to use this Sulwasu cleansing water, vitalizing water, instead of using a light toner. Why? Because this one, mas viscous siya. If you can, yan. And, guys, pag nilagay mo siya, ang bangod niya. And yung bango niya is not, um, it doesn't violate your senses. It's, it's very subtle. It smells good. And if anything, it uplifts my mood. So if I'm feeling like sleepy or, you know, just not in the mood, when I use this, I enhance ang aking skincare experience at bigla ako nagigising. You know, when I use it, parang naging pink ang mundo bilang bloomstay. Parang naging pink ang buhay. So anyway, kayo, bahala kayo. Basta, I use this in the winter or when I just want to pick me up. Depende na lang sa mood. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Bahala na. But usually, I use either the I'm From Rice Toner or this Then I Met You. This is my second bottle, by the way, of Then I Met You Toner. So, bahala kayo. Just mix it up. Discover what Whatever you like, but that's what I do. And of course, my my second stage is the the giving essence. And on the giving essence, I find when I use it, it's very light. Oh, I forgot to show. Yeah, very light, sha. I find that when I use this, wala na hindi na kailangan mag moisturize. Go go go. Kasi nga parang I don't know what's in here. I'm, I'm thinking it's like mugwort or something. I don't know. But when I use this, parang nagiging bouncy yung skin. I don't know if you can see. I think this is the second time I've discussed this. Um, I really like it. It's my second bottle. But mind you guys, ito lang ang products that I'm using at the moment. I've gone through a lot and maybe one of these days I'll share my favorites with you. But for now, ito ang three toners na pinag-iikot-ikot ko and this is the essence that I also use. So, mahala kayo if you want to use that. Now, on days that I am tamad, which you never should be, I also try to use the mists. They also help uh, or, or act like toners. Ngayon sabi nila, toners daw ay hindi naman talaga importante. Pero really, I've realized that through the years, the toners have really enhanced my skincare routine. Why? Because um, the moisture, the nima moisture, I think they're more like the hydration or the, parang sila mga humectants. Parang they draw in whatever product that you apply after you put them. So it softens your skin. Therefore, the next step is welcomed by your skin. And I think that is what's different with toners. As long as you don't use alcohol-based toners and drying toners, you're good to go, I find. Okay, next and my last step is usually my sunblock. And sunblock sa akin depends if I'm going out or if I'm staying home. Pag sa bahay lang ako, I usually use a low SPF or um, and the lighter, parang lighter texture ng, ng sunblock. And that's usually my Innisfree Blueberry Sunblock. It's a rebalancing watery sun cream that is watery. <laughs> cream per watery. I don't know. And this is my new favorite also, La Roche Passe Redermic C SPF 25. So, low SPF ang um, ginagamit ko. And, you know, depending sa mood, there are days trip kong gamitin itong Redermic. And there are days na ang trip kong gamitin is this blueberry. Ang gusto ko dito sa Redermic is, oh, obvious ba na upaubos na siya? Ayan siya. And that is the texture. It's pretty light. And ayan siya. And it has vitamin C. That's what I love about this. Kasi may vitamin C siya. Ngayon, if hindi niya mag feel ito, kasi I, I usually buy this in Canada. I've been using it for close to a year now. And uh, I've been loving it. In fact, obvious ba? Ganyan na siya. My next favorite is this Innisfree Blueberry. Like I said kanina, it's very light sa texture. See? And there's no white cast. Ganyan lang siya. Bagay na bagay sa Pilipinas. Not heavy at all. Very light. Kasi yung problema sometimes when you put sunblock, namubuti yung face mo, there's a white cast, or nakaka-oily. And sometimes also, there's a strong scent to it. And I find that yung blueberry na Innisfree doesn't have a strong scent. 
it has a pleasant scent. Now, if you're one who has a sensitive skin, then maybe you want to reconsider it. But really, very faint ang smell niya. So, pwede pwede. Now, on the days that, ito et yung ginagamit ko when I don't go out. Or if I know hindi naman ako talaga ma-expose sa sun. Ngayon, on the days that I do go out and I know that I'll be exposed to it, I use my Hera and my Anessa sunblock. Ito yung favorite ko at the moment. I have other sunblocks that I really love but right now, Anessa and Hera are my favorite. Siguro this Hera, I've, I've been using this for since 2014. Up to now. So, palagi akong meron ito. So, favorite ko talaga siya. It's SPF 50 with how many pluses? Three pluses. And this Anessa, I just discovered last year when we went to Japan. And I love the texture. I love it. Pag sinuot mo siya, para pag, when you put it on, it's like, para siyang may kinang factor. And so with my Hera. So, they both do not have a uh, white cast. Hindi sila tinted. Ayan. And they're very moisturizing. Pero, parang meron siyang pakintab of some sort. See, this is Anessa. Of course, hindi ko pa siya na spread ng maini. And this is the Hera. They're, they're actually both parang almost the same in, in texture. And they're both like lovely. When you wear them, parang, parang fresh ka lang, glowing ka lang. And that's what I use when I do go out. And then of course, you put your tints and whatever you want to add. Go ahead. Now, Lately, I've discovered na less is more. As, I, as you get older, less is more. So, the less makeup you put, the better. But, how can you put less makeup? How can you avoid wearing makeup if you have a lot to hide? So, with me, I discovered through the years na talagang good skin is the key. Uh, you buy less makeup, less foundation, and less concealer. There's less to hide when you got good skin. So, that is my journey. And this is my morning skincare routine. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and I hope um, I did not annoy you guys. Uh, till next time, till my next skincare share, uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you for joining me.